So this question says a sample of oak has a density of 807 kilograms per cubic meter. I'm going to just write that down. 807 kg per cubic meter means meters cubed. This is the density, so D equals that. The sample is in the shape of a cube where each edge has a length of 0 0.9 meters. Okay, so if I have a cube here, and I know that each edge is 0 0.9 meters, I'll just deal with a couple of edges here. So I have a length, a width, and a height that are all 0 0.9. Um, to the nearest whole number, what is the mass in kilograms of this shape? Okay, so the question is, how does, how does a density relate to this cube here? Well, this cube actually helps you to figure out the volume. It helps you figure out the volume in meters cubed, actually. The volume of this cube is simply 0 0.9 meters to the third power, right? It very literally is length times width times, and I should use a different color. It is length times width times height. That's how we find the volume of a cube. So I'm going to go to my calculator and see, well, what is 0 0.9 to the third power? That is 0 0.729. So my volume of the cube is equal to 0 0.729 cubic meters, or meters cubed. So with that information, I have a meters cubed here, I have a meters cubed here, and I have a kilograms. I just want kilograms, which means I want my meters cubed to cancel out. So this is going to turn into like a unit conversion of sorts. So I'm going to start off with the density that was provided which is the 807 kg. I guess I'm going to write it like this, over m to the third power, same thing. I'm going to multiply that by my volume, which is 0 0.729 m to the third. As long as my units are diagonal from each other, I know that I've made no mistakes here. If they're not diagonal, then that's how I know I need to start moving things around. So my m cubes are diagonal, so I know I'm good. So all that's left Unit-wise is kilograms, so I also know I'm good because that's what I'm being asked to find. So all that's left is to go to my calculator and multiply the values. So I have 807 times 0.729, and I get 588 as my answer. So choice A is the correct answer.